Welcome for an encouraging message by our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilume, which tells us, as bearers of the message of salvation, there's too much at stake to be quiet. The opening scripture is from Jeremiah chapter 20, verse 9. It says, But his word was in mine heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones, and I was weary with forbearing, and I could not stay. For the gospel to have gotten to us in our day, some people had to pay the ultimate price. Some ministers and saints of God sacrificed their life for this message to get to us. There was a time in not too distant past when the possession of a Bible either put one in prison or get one killed. Those who printed Bibles did so in hiding. Today, we have Bibles everywhere. On your phone, you could even have many translations. But this didn't happen by chance. It's the result of the faith, prayers, and labor of many before us. That's why it is important for us in our day to wake up. We should be inspired by the examples of those who fought to take the message to places where the gospel wasn't known. If you were a driver, for example, who regularly conveys passengers from one location to the other, this should inspire you to preach to your passengers. It makes no difference whether or not they are happy to hear your message. Once they get into your vehicle, you are in control because you have them in that space for the rest of the journey. The most they can do if they don't want to hear you is to request to alight from your vehicle. Are you a CEO or you hold an influential position in your organization? You can use your position of influence to preach the gospel to your employees. Don't let it bother you that some of them may want to leave because you preach to them. Remember, God gave you the business in the first place. You therefore have to boldly preach to them, not with the aim of forcing them, but to provide them a chance to hear and believe in Jesus Christ for salvation. Think of what others went through fighting for the opportunity you now have all around you today. The time is short, and the return of the Master is at hand. And sure, you take advantage of every opportunity the Lord has given you to witness to others. Don't hold back. Get wild with the Gospel. Hallelujah. Let us take the prayer for today. Precious Father, I thank you for your word that burns in my heart and propels me to preach the gospel and spread your righteousness around the world. I refuse to be quiet, but take my place in the end time army. As a frontline soldier and a bearer of divine truth to my world, I stand firm in the faith, impacting lives and causing your righteousness and glory to be established around me. In Jesus' name. Amen. You can go to these scriptures for your further studies. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 16. Luke chapter 4, verse 43. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. Thank you for tuning in for today's Rhapsody reading. I hope you are encouraged and on fire for the Lord. Do not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to anyone who believes. Do share this video with your friends and family that they may be encouraged by it as well, or that they may have an opportunity 
to receive salvation if they haven't already do so. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com. That's tni.msia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.